Welcome to the BTR News Podcast with Scotty T. Reed. On this podcast, we will address confusion concerning the murder charges in the Amber Geiger murder trial. The trial of former Dallas police officer Amber Geiger is underway and there seems to be some confusion on whether or not the grand jury that indicted her possibly overcharged her with some fear could result in a not guilty verdict by the jury. In 2018, Amber Geiger shot and killed both them John in his apartment, which is located a floor above her own apartment, which was located on the third floor. The five-year veteran officer claims she mistakenly entered the apartment through a door that wasn't locked, encountering Mr. John, whom she assumed was a burglar, drew her weapon, and shot and killed him. Geiger was originally charged with manslaughter, but once the case went before a Dallas grand jury, that jury escalated the charge to murder. In the state of Texas, according to the Zenda Dale Law Firm, there are four types of criminal homicide, and they are as follows. One, murder. You commit murder when you intentionally and knowingly take someone else's life or when you intend to commit an act that is clearly extremely dangerous to human life and, in effect, causes death to another person. Murder is usually a felony of the first degree. Number two, capital murder. There are different ways to commit capital murder. You commit capital murder if you kill a fireman or a member of law enforcement. You commit capital murder if you intentionally kill someone while committing arson, kidnapping, robbery, or burglary, terroristic threat, obstruction, or retaliation, or sexual assault. Capital murder is a capital felony. 3. Manslaughter You commit manslaughter if you recklessly cause the death of another person. Manslaughter is a felony of the second degree. Number four, criminally negligent homicide. If you are criminally negligent and you take someone else's life, it would be considered criminally negligent homicide, which is a state jail felony. Some accidental killings fall into this category. Some pundits believe that the officer was overcharged, which could lead to a jury returning a not guilty verdict. On an episode of Roland Martin Unfiltered, this question was brought up and Roland Martin expressed concern that Geiger will be set free, as was the case when off-duty Chicago police detective Dante Servin shot and killed Rakia Boyd in 2012 heard anything about why she really wanted him dead. But why don't but you what think... what she did is overreact but, but, and a man ended up dead and that's manslaughter. Okay, I agree. Yeah. But let me get my, my point out. The reality is what's wrong with the argument that the prosecution overcharged this case and she should really should have been charged with manslaughter. Which, which by the way, the Texas, the Texas Rangers mm-hmm. charged her with manslaughter. Mm-hmm. It went to the grand jury. The grand jury came back with a murder charge. The Dallas District District Attorney's Office did not pursue the manslaughter charge, didn't bring it up. In fact, uh, Robert Armstrong, of course, the Texas Ranger investigator, uh, again, this took place outside of the jury's presence. He said today that he felt that uh, she did not intend to kill him. Mm. He said that it was a mistake, and he said she should have been indicted on manslaughter. They decided, they they decided there, the jury should make the decision, not listen to him. Yeah, and here's the thing. Yeah, be because now they charge. Too, though. But when when the when the DA went on TV and we saw that black mama judge do what was priceless, <laughs> there were all the conspiracy theorists saying, "Mm-hmm, she's trying to throw the trial because in Dallas, that's what people are saying. Either she overcharged it because mm-hmm. she didn't care about coming back with a guilty, or they succumbed to pressure." And she improperly charged. With murder. charged. Huh? Yeah, but yeah. either way, she made a case harder for her people. That yeah, she, it, well, 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 you had uh, Faith oh, Jenkins, who was the oh, district attorney oh, in, excuse me, excuse I'm me, a lawyer I, 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 I got this, <laughs> okay, stop talking. Keep uh, talking. Faith, Faith Jenkins was the district attorney in Dallas, Republican. <laughs> when all of this went down, the grand jury indicted. She lost her re-election yep. to mm. uh, John Cruzo, Democrat, who's now the district attorney. 
So the interview Monique was talking about was John Cruzo yeah. giving the interview the day before the trial when the judge said, there's a gag order. Why the hell is anybody talking? Mm -hmm. And so, and she's absolutely right, people in Dallas were demanding murder charges. I was down there for uh, a town hall at a church there, and folks, they wanted nothing less than murder. murder. And there were people who were trying to explain mm -hmm. to the audience, understand in these cases, I know you want murder, but you have to understand the difference between murder, second degree murder, manslaughter, uh, vehicular. I mean, all the, there, there are multiple yeah. categories on when somebody dies. And their deal is you got charged with the right one. And let's remember when you had the cop in Chicago mm -hmm. who shot and killed Rakia Boyd, they went to court. Uh, uh, Dante, um, uh, uh, I forgot the last one, it was Dante. They go to court, the judge said they improperly charged him and he walked. Yeah. Yeah. In the case of Dante Servin, he was never charged with murder in the Boyd case. He was charged with manslaughter and perhaps should have been charged with murder based on witness statements and the fact he had an unregistered handgun. Nonetheless, according to the New York Times, Judge Dennis J. Porter of Cook County Circuit Court in a directed verdict ruled that the state had failed to prove recklessness on the part of the officer, Dante Servin, who was 46 at the time, in the March 2012 shooting death of 22-year-old Rakia Boyd. Judge Porter also cleared Mr. Servin of reckless discharge of a firearm and reckless conduct. The facts and circumstances of the servant trial and the Geiger trial are entirely different as well as in addition to having occurred in two different states. From what I've been able to ascertain from a couple of sources, if the Dallas jury in the Geiger case doesn't believe her actions rise to the level of murder, have the option to find her guilty of lesser charges. From the time. Geiger, 31, is facing life in prison should a jury find her guilty of murder. If she is found not guilty of murder, she could still face lesser charges of manslaughter or criminally negligent homicide, according to the Dallas Morning News. That she pulled the trigger and killed Jean is not in dispute. From USA Today. The jury in the murder trial that began Monday will decide whether Geiger committed murder, a lesser offense such as manslaughter or criminally negligent homicide or no crime at all. Today is day four of the Geiger murder trial, which is expected to last up to two weeks. Tune in for live digital radio programming and pre-recorded podcasts distributed by the Black Talk Radio Network. The platform is supported in part by your tax-deductible donations to the nonprofit new media organization, Black Talk Media Project. The Black Talk Radio Network was ranked number one in black digital radio and audio podcasts by digital media curator Feedspot in 2019.